you know, I'm feeling pretty good. There's not really a lot I can complain about. I'm not on a lot of meds anymore. Look at this. But I have countless, countless friends that have just been there for me the whole time. Are we actually here right now? Yeah, all right. Coming from such a terrible place and rising back up and coming back from it. Good luck, boys. It's, it's not that I'm not scared of anything. It's that things are less intimidating. So... My name is Charlie Capalbo. Growing up, I spent most afternoons making saves and stopping pucks. But over the past three years, I've been in a battle with two forms of cancer, back to back, non-Hodgkin's lymphoma and leukemia. It's pretty tough, pretty hard to accept. I'm gonna cry. Um... Still surreal, shocked, I mean, what are the chances, you know? What are the chances? I needed to find a donor for a bone marrow transplant. My younger brother, Will, was a match. And from a goalie's perspective, he made a once in a lifetime save. You are my match. No. Yeah. Seriously? You're a nine out of 10 match. I think it was cool. I was able to do what I did for him. I think about his health every day. Not a moment goes by where I'm not thinking about it. There were days where I wasn't sure like what was gonna come the next day, and that's terrifying, and a way to block that out is envisioning to the smallest details what I want my life to be like post-transplant. Being back in a rink, regardless of whether it was coaching, playing, or just watching, hockey was always in my head. I was counting down the days just to be a normal 21-year-old again. After the transplant, I spent the next 10 months in isolation to avoid infection. When I got out, I celebrated the new year at the Winter Classic with a hockey community that always had my back. The Dallas Stars hosting the Nashville Predators. Meeting Edzo was the highlight of the Winter Classic. Hi, Charlie. Charlie. How are you, buddy? So how are you feeling? Pretty good, yeah. pretty good, yeah. Can't complain. Talking to him, he recognizes that I went through something different than what my brother did, than what my dad did, than what my mom did. That was awesome. How are you feeling? I'm feeling good. You feeling okay? Yeah, I'm feeling yeah. all All right. of us have struggled, and we're all working past it, and I think that's why that was special. You get my info, and if you ever want to talk or text, or I'm not on InstaFace or Space. <laughs> <laughs> You're not going to find me there, but you could just find me on my, on my phone. So. It almost doesn't feel real, because it, just being there is a special experience, and then we took it to the next level. I was so grateful to be in the stands watching the game I love. And after years of dreaming about it, I took another step in my recovery by getting some ice time of my own at my local rink. It's been three years since we've been on the ice together. Last game I played was the last time we were on the ice together. All right, brother, let's hit it. Let's hit it. Oh, okay. Sharing the ice together, it was a special moment. I miss being out here. I'm really enjoying this. We have a bond that's a lot different from a lot of siblings. <laughs> We're very, very close now, and it's cool to have somebody like that in your life. It's gonna be a good year. All you hope for for your kids when they grow up is that they are close, but that kind of closeness, that's like next level closeness. I gotta take a couple more shots. Get one more one T in. One T, here you go. I still take things day to day, but guess what? My cells are healthy. <laughs> And on the ice, I'm finally back home again.